Hello, everyone. Welcome back to another exciting episode of Fandom Fights. You thought it was going to be a tame intro. It's not. I got a little crazy at the end. Uh, I'm joined by Caleb Coho uh, for an exciting match today. Caleb, how you doing? I'm doing good. This is now like the third time this year where you guys have been like, hey, come sit on the desk. And it's exciting. And I love it. Yeah. And it's nostalgic. And every time I'm having fun. Yeah, we love having you. You're, you're, you're in for a good one today. I uh, am. we got a great match for you. Uh, Bridget Colwell makes her return uh, against Jake Marangoni, making his return. Uh, Bridget winning her first match uh, at the end of last uh, year. Uh, Jake, I believe last time we saw him was the singles tournament. He lost in one of the greatest matches in round one to Lucas uh, in sudden death, I believe. Um, so we've seen Jake uh, in teams since then, uh, but first time we're seeing him back. Uh, versus Bridget, we got. I think Jake's like three and four. Bridget's one and one. This is a pretty even match. How you feeling, Cole? Very excited about it. Uh, Bridget, the girl on fire, one of the rookies from last year that I was like, I heard the nickname. I was like, hell yeah, I'm in. I dig it. Uh, I'm very excited to see Bridget back. Uh, and of course, the man who should have won moments of the year, the kangaroo himself, is back. I'm excited to see them both play. Jake, I think, has been on on a big upward trajectory since uh, the retirement match with Dave way back uh, end of the season before last. Uh, mm -hmm. And he's just consistently improved and like shocked the world is like, hi, I'm Jake Marangoni and I like fandom. Uh, and I think this is going to be really fun. Great. Well, enough from us. Let's, let's hear if the players will also think it will be fun in, in those things we do, the, the promos and stuff. Jake, we spent good money on you, man. I got like, what? We gave you like 40 bucks to, for you to come in and win the Warzone singles title, man. You ready for that? Absolutely, Cody. You know, I have put a lot of effort into this match. I've studied. I've studied Bridget. I'm Mike. Wait, what? I'm Mike. What the fuck? No, you're my manager, Cody. No, I killed your manager. Cody's been my manager for like three plus years. I, I've done it. It's a bump on the head you took. I had to knock you and the other Australian out to get you. It's okay. So, it's okay. But you're, so your name is Cody? No, uh, I'm Mike. No, actually, I'm Nazario. I'm sorry. Fuck that up. I'm Nazario. Cody. You, Cody? Me, Cody? You, fuckface. Okay. Okay. Thank you, Cody. I think that's that's good. Yeah. I like, I like it. it. Ready? Right. <laughs> Hi, my name is Bridget. Colwell, not Colwell, aka Girl on Fire. I am ready to go, and my message to everyone is to stay hydrated. Thank you. Coho, yes. uh, a couple things. I hope Jake's all right. I hope he knows where he's at. Um, to Bridget Colwell, I apologize sincerely on behalf of uh, mispronunciators everywhere. Uh, did I also spy a Timbercala Blu-ray shelf in, in the background? Of, of I believe I believe you did. I believe Bridget is is sporting a, a very nice shelf worth of movies, and that is very cool. Or maybe it's but I I didn't get a good look personally. Okay, we'll check it out in the mix. Uh, absolutely. Which we'll start right now. Uh, here's how round number one's gonna work. Round number one, each player is gonna get ten questions in the realm of fandom fights. Uh, if they they'll have fifteen seconds to write down their answer. Uh, at the end of fifteen seconds, we will say pens down. They will reveal their answer and say it aloud. Any correct answers will be worth one point apiece. Should any player get all ten questions correct, they would receive a bonus question. Uh, each player will have three repeats, one challenge for the entirety of the match. Players, any questions as we get into the match? No. Let's go. Great, Coho, hit them with it. Absolutely. Your first question comes in the category of Disney live action. Which recent Disney live action film features an evil prince named Joachim? Joachim. Joachim. You can put the pronunciation. I'm in sorry. That's, that's my bad. I looked at it. I was like, I, I panicked. It's a hard, it's a hard name to say. You know me. That's fair. I, hey, Jake, how about you get those hands up, bro? Yeah, Jake, hands up. Let me just extend the chair. That I. I, I J O, I need those hands up. <laughs> All right, we're gonna go five. Four, that doesn't even work in context. I'm making jokes that off. Two, one, pens down. We will start with Bridget. I have not a clue. Fair. Uh, Jake. I also have not a clue, but I wrote Cinderella. Uh, both incorrect. We were looking for Jungle Cruise. Oh, uh, the that's that's undervalued that. Jungle Cruise. Eh, it's pretty valued where it's supposed oh, to be. All right, here's the question. I fun watching it was it a good movie no questionable was it a fun movie absolutely 
Agreed. Also, anyway. your question, a majority of these are books, but I do have two shelves dedicated to DVDs. There we go. Thank DVDs, you. respect. Uh, <laughs> all right, your second question will come in the category of Planet of the Apes. In Rise of the Planet of the Apes, which ape does Caesar instruct to give out cookies to all the other apes? I was going to say, I did see books up there, so I was going to say already at like a plus 10 intelligence advantage on my pea brain. I have a book. I, just, I, I have a shelf for vinyls. I guess Those I have shelves like for books. Those books. are at least like 10 Is books. Is it intelligent the amount of money I spent on books in the last uh, year alone? Four. It's not a sign. I, I too am in debt Two. from book selling. One, oh, hands down, we'll start with Jake. Uh, I can only remember Maurice. And Bridget. I have no clue. That's all good. Uh, the answer is Rocket. Rocket. Darn That's a fun name for an eight. It is. It is indeed. Uh, oh, your nice. third question will come in the category of Star Trek. Okay. Name three actors who have played a captain of the USS Enterprise in a Star Trek film. I like this question a lot, actually. This is it's good, right? Yeah. Very cool question. I like it. I dig it. Ooh. I'm a fan. Uh, what I'm not a fan of is the amount of roasting I got when I started using Star Trek as a strength again. It was like, I like these movies. I've liked these movies as a kid. And you guys were like, oh, yeah? Why'd you talk about them? That's a fair point for us to ask. You haven't brought them up. It's, it's like if one day you were like, oh, guys, I'm going to the Olympics for like ski jumping. And we'd be like, why are you never said anything about that? The, the difference, the difference is, is we didn't hang up in that context with our movies. I watched Eddie the Eagle recently. Uh, five, four, Ooh, three, fair. two, one. Pens down. We will go to Bridget. Okay. Uh, William Shatner, Chris Pine, Chris Hemsworth, and Jake. I said Bruce Greenwood, Chris Pine, and William Shatner. Jake is correct. Unfortunately, we cannot accept Chris Hemsworth. Uh, Kelvin. He was captain of another one. Kelvin. I, I, I got two of them, and I was like, I can't think of a third one. Uh, Jake makes the first cut. It is uh, one to nothing as we get to the next question, which comes to the category of Pixar. Hey, yo. And the question is, in Luca, Machiavelli is what kind of animal? So did you like this one? I love yeah, it. It's fine. It's like there's nothing. It's it's not like groundbreaking Pixar, right? But like it's enjoyable. It like, is so charming. I love it. I thought it was fine. I don't know. Like I didn't hear a lot of people talk. Like Soul and Onward, we talked about like all year. Like that was like our yeah. whole thing. And then like Luca came out, we were like, Five, what is Luca? Four. We don't talk. About I only it. thought Soul was like a little bit better than Luca. If I'm being honest, one pens down. I don't really like Soul that much. Um, we'll go to Jake. Jake. I saw this movie, I don't know if I remember. Cat? And Bridget. He's a cat, and he's fantastic. He is a cat. Cat is correct. Uh, point Fun is fact, my cat is built exactly like Machiavelli. <laughs> that is adorable. Yeah. Uh, your fifth question will come to the category of horror icons. At the beginning of New Nightmare, Heather is awoken during what kind of natural disaster? I'm sure we said the words horror icons and Jake's manager Cody backstage just this yeah. month. Pretty sure he's I, excited about that one. I uh, worry for uh, some people currently being managed by a. Uh, oh, I, 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 I do too. I, I worry about potentially Three. yourself with him as well. <laughs> one hands down. We will start with Bridget. Thunderstorm. And Jake. Earthquake. Earthquake is the correct answer. Jake will take a 3-1 lead as we get to the next question, which comes in the category of James Bond. In which Craig Bond film does he first meet Q? These, though. These films. Good. Exist. Well, the, the latter couple of them well the, the last several i think yeah. have been phenomenal and then everything leading up to those has, has been Not pretty everything. terrible it is one of those things where i think it like mostly gets better like from the beginning to the end other than that dip in the middle there with the old creepy guy uh five Four. the old creepy guy that has the most films <laughs> yes one that's now i'll go to jake skyfall 
and Bridget. Uh, at the first one, I don't know the name of it. I've only ever seen Sean Connery, James Bond films. Fair. Uh, Skyfall is the correct answer. I believe it's the third one. Um, what is the next question, Coho? Your next question is the category of Marvel films based on Marvel comics outside the MCU. Who plays Jean Grey in X-Men Apocalypse and Dark Phoenix? You remember when Dark Phoenix came out and it was stylized without the X-Men name, but they put a circle around the X so that you knew it was still one of those movies? Yeah, that was dumb. I hate it. That was really dumb. Remember they were trying to bury it because the Marvel had bought the X-Men and Fox. The movie they were like, just so bury bad. it. Just bury it now. The movie made me so angry. God, that movie is so bad. Boy, it's been 40 years and they all look the same. I know. Five, four, He's supposed to be like 70 three, in that movie. Two, I know. What? <laughs> Hands down, we'll go to Bridget. I know that as soon as you say it, I'm going to be like, oh, but I have no idea. <laughs> Jake. Game of Thrones lady, Sophie Turner. Sophie Turner. I'm uh, offended you call her Game of Thrones lady. We all know that she is married to Joe Jonas. That is how we all know <laughs> Sophie Turner. I knew she was married to a Jonas brother. I knew Jeez. that. I didn't actually know that. That's, yeah. yeah, me neither. Learning new go. things. Look at that. All right, your next question yeah. will come in the category of YA. And the question is, besides the normal vampire powers, what unique power does Edward possess in the Twilight Saga? So I'll never forgive you and Tim, by the way. I just don't want you to know that. Well, I'll never forgive you for this. I, I, I watched all of these, like, first week of 2022. And small they sense. all, all of them rank in, like, my bottom 10 of fandom movies. Like, almost Hard all of them made the bottom 10. Hard dis I don't think any of them do, if I'm being honest. You're had, on like, drugs, had, Nick. One of them is the worst film in fandom. I'll stand by it. I have a genuinely it. okay Sunday watching all five of these. One of five. them is the worst film in fandom. I stand by Hard it. Hard disagree. Two. One. Pens down. We'll go to Jake. Reads minds. And Bridget. Super hearing? Reading minds. Mind reading uh, is the correct answer. Uh, so Jake will get that point there. Jake leads six to one. We get to the penultimate question, which Coho will read and say nothing else other than reading the question right now. Your penultimate question comes to the category of Mission Impossible. Which Mission Impossible film features Ethan threatening to throw the main villain off of a plane? You can't contain me. You can't you can't put me in a box. I, I am an imitable. I am an original. It's one of those things where, like, it's been happening for so long, but if we have any new viewers, they're just like, oh, this guy's an idiot. Yeah, it's true. But, it's but true. hey, this this goes back to, to episode one. It says words, from, incorrect. From, from right. episode one of fandom. Cool. I've, I've annoyed Kane with my bullshit. Now I annoy you. One, pens down. We will start with Bridget. I think it's MI4. And Jake. Mission Impossible, I, I, I. Mission Impossible 3 uh, is correct. It's we called will, I, I, I. We will give Jake the point despite being slightly obnoxious. As we get to your Sorry. final question, your final question will come in the category of DreamWorks. What is the name of the hippo that escapes Central Park Zoo in Madagascar? Hey, Coho. Yes. You know anything about like escaped zoo animals? I may or may not know something about a hippogriff. No, it, it was your dumb. And more. I'm, I'm continuing the joke. I know something about a bow truckle. A celery looking uh, five. That's a bow truckle, right? Yeah. It is, man. Yeah, correct, too. Well, it depends now. I'll go to Jake. Gloria. And Bridget. Gloria. Gloria is correct. Uh, My man's name. Thus ends round one. Jake in the lead. Eight to Bridget's two. Is that what you have, Mr. Coho? That is indeed what I have, sir. Great. Well, then, without further ado, we'll move into round number two. Here's how round number two is going to work. It's the wheel round. Uh, we got a wheel here with eight random categories as well as spinners and opponent's choice. Uh, each player will get a spin at the wheel. If they like what they spin the first time, they can keep it. If not, they can choose to spin again. But they'll be forced to keep what they spin the second time. Uh, you will get five questions in the chosen category, each worth two points apiece, unless uh, you check down to multiple choice, in which case they will only be worth one. And be careful, as if you missed the question, your opponent can steal it. Uh, any questions as we get in round number two? I uh, know. Great. Then, Jake, you are in the lead. Uh, your wheel today is as follows. 
Uh, it is Marvel, Mission Impossible, James Bond, Horror Icons, YA, DreamWorks, Wizarding World, and DC. After hearing that, would you like to spin first or defer? I like going second, Mike. Me? I'm Cody, first of all. Second of all, <laughs> oh you, my up. Oh my you missed two questions. That's unacceptable. Perfect. That's what we're looking for. So you go second. Okay. Oh, Sounds like we'll be going second. Bridget, this will be your spin at the week. You had one job, Jake. I had one job. It was a good bit. <laughs> Lands on James Bond, Bridget. Would you like to keep it or spin again? I'd like to spin again, and I'll Thanks. say a quick prayer. Sounds like a play. <laughs> Lands on DreamWorks Animation. Sick. All right, prayer paid off. The Hail Mary may have worked out there. Uh, cool. Tell us what you like had for breakfast for about 30 seconds. I didn't eat breakfast. In fact, I worked five hours at work, uh, four hours of overtime uh, because the jet was delayed because it's terrible weather. And thus, All I right, watched. Well, I'm tired of this How about you read so. around two questions to Bridget already? Jeez. I would love to do nothing more. Your first question in DreamWorks, Bridget. Which DreamWorks film features the characters Miguel and Tulio? That is The Road to El Dorado. And that is correct for two points. That movie slaps. That yes, it slaps. does. Your I second question. How many kids does Tim Templeton have in the Boss Baby family business? Two? That is correct for two points. Oh, sick. Your third question in DreamWorks. Which comedian voices Humpty Dumpty in Puss in Boots? Can I get multiple choice for that one? Absolutely. Your options are A, Zach Galifianakis, B, Josh Gad, C, Charlie Day, or D, Bill Hader. I'm feeling Bill Hader. That would be incorrect. Jake, the change of the one point steal. Your options are A, Zach Galifianakis, B, Josh Gad, C, Charlie Day, or D, Bill Hader. His character name in Birdman is Jake. Uh, it's Zach Galifianakis. That would be correct for the one point steal. <laughs> I had to. Your penultimate question in DreamWorks. In Home, O belongs to what alien race? Can I get multiple choice for that one? Absolutely. Your options are A, Gorg, B, Starman, C, Boove, or D, Fishes? C, Boove. That would be correct for one point. And your final question in DreamWorks. What specifically did Sherman do to Penny that caused him to get in trouble at school in Mr. Peabody and Sherman? He bit her. That is correct for two points, and we have a tie game coming out of round number two, Nick. Indeed we do. Well, not entirely because we got to do the rest of round two now. But um... Right. We're out of her turn round two. Ah! Out of her turn to do that. <laughs> Uh, so yeah, tie game nine to nine. As we get into Jake's spin at the wheel, we'll bring back in that person. Uh, Don't fuck this up, Jake. You're right, Cody. You're right. Sorry, Jake. This is your first spin. Lands on Marvel. Would you like to keep it or spin again? I've got to take it, right, Cody? It's yeah. Just, it's, yeah, yeah. It's, Do it's not probably fuck my this best up, though. You fuck this up, I leave. Okay, that's fair. You, you make a good point there. All right, we'll take it. Sounds like a plan. I will read you them questions. We're all staying hydrated, right? Yes. Oh, Wonderful. Absolutely. Uh, all right, Jake, are you prepared for your questions? The category Marvel. Let's go. What's the name of the wrestler in Spider-Man? No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> <laughs> all right, couldn't resist. All right, your first question. Your first official question. Which Marvel film features a battle with the Hive on top of the Eiffel Tower? Men in Black International. That's correct for two points. Your second question. Which university does Gwen plan on going to in The Amazing Spider-Man 2? Oxford. That is correct for two points. Your third question. 
In Fantastic Four, Rise of the Silver Surfer, who destroys Galactus? Norrin Rad, a.k.a. the Silver Surfer. Showing off a little bit, but yeah, that's correct. <laughs> For two points. This is rough. <laughs> Your penultimate question, Jake. Who plays Hannibal King in Blade Trinity? Ryan Reynolds. Oh, uh, sorry. Can I say it again? Ryan Reynolds. Yeah, that's, that's I, correct. I felt like I almost slipped that's that okay. out. Yeah, Ryan Reynolds. Yes, that's correct. <laughs> will get I'm not points. sure where that was going incorrectly, but sure. <laughs> All right. Uh, Jake, your final question in Marvel. In Venom, Let There Be Carnage. What type of animals does Eddie get for Venom to eat, which he winds up naming Sonny and Cher? That'd be chickens, because they have small brains. That's correct, and that movie's trash, and you're bad. Uh, it's so it's no, it's so fun! <laughs> later, later. All right, round two is over. Uh, Jake, Jake is in the lead with 19. Uh, Bridget with oh, 19. Yeah. That is what I have. Great. Then without further ado, we'll move into round number three. Here's how round number three is going to work. It's the betting round. There will be five more questions uh, in the realm of fandom fights. Uh, random categories. Once you hear the category, you can bet anywhere between zero and two points. If you get the question correct, you'll gain those points. If you get the question incorrect, you will lose those points. Uh, we will play it until we are out of questions or someone is mathematically uh, eliminated. Any questions as we get into round number three? No. All right. Your first question will come in the category of... Middle Earth. All right, we will get back starting with Bridget. Ha, zero. And Jake. I'm going to trust my manager on this one. Zero. <laughs> All right, stats only. Uh, and this will be the final question, but the final yeah, question is, who plays Saruman in The Fellowship of the Ring? <laughs> Ho -ho. I don't even remember Yes. That. You like you like these. Um, I like these enough to give the entire trilogy of films two Academy Awards in total. So, that's a pointless. That's a meaningless sentence to me. I'll just assume. Is it? Oh, I I, I think they're fine and a little overrated. Five, four, three, two, one. Pens down. We will start with Jake, Anthony Anderson, and Bridget. Not a single clue. And your winner, Jake Marangoni. Uh, the correct answer was Christopher Lee. Uh, oh, from that guy. Acting, from some acting in his day. Uh, Christopher Lee was the correct answer. Koho, thoughts uh, on the match? Um, I thought that was a lot of fun. Uh, I, I think that uh, Bridget got DreamWorks and that worked out really well for her. Uh, she she worked her way really well through that. Uh, it just so happened that Jake gets a really big lead through the round one and then just gets something he's really good at in round two and just runs. Uh, so not much you can really do in that situation to come back from it. But end of the day, I had a lot of fun beating here today. I did as well. Let's talk to our players today. We'll start with Bridget, uh, the unfortunate second place finisher today. Bridget, uh, I think this match was probably won in round one by Jake, but there, there is something impressive to be said. With the I fact felt that like I did a really good job in round two, bringing it back, and then had the really truly unfortunate he got his like strength there. Yeah. Uh, which is unfortunate, but say la vie, you know the vibe. It is, and it is really fun. impressive. <laughs> it is really <laughs> impressive when people look back. Because had you not done as well in round two as you had, like this could have been a knockout. And so just avoiding that uh, on itself, I, I think, is very impressive. Uh, Bridget, we love having you. You're just you're a ton of fun. Uh, is there anyone we want to play next? Uh, I'm down to play anyone. I I just enjoy having fun. I've only played like a few people, so I just want I want to interact with more people. Just really see how how well I am. How good I am at this, which I'm going to admit isn't very, but <laughs> it's fine. I have fun. Good. I think it's more about having fun than being good. That is a great uh, look on life and positive attitude, right. and we do appreciate it. We will see you next time, Bridget. Thank you for playing. Uh, as we bring in the winner today, uh, Jake Maringo. Oh, his manager, Cody. Yes. My manager, Cody, yes. Thank you for getting it right. Yeah. Jake. 
you did great. You, you almost went perfect in round one. You did go perfect in round two. And then you gave a pretty bad answer in round three. <laughs> 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 oh, yeah. can, I a, can I ask a question? You realize that round three still counts for stats, even when you're not betting, right? So you, know, actually, you actually just got an incorrect question. I forgot about the stats. You know, I, I don't dare. My ego just got like destroyed by missing that. I question. mean, you used to have like the biggest accuracy in the history of fandom. That that's definitely <laughs> hurt by the one Anthony Anderson. Though. Uh, I mean, yeah, I should just put Christopher Lee, but uh, I thought it would be funny. Um, <laughs> no, I this is. I thought I was. I, I was getting a little nervous because I missed the first two questions. I was like, okay, this, yes, this is, it's not perfect. We yeah, pay I'm good sorry, money okay, for I, you. Perfection. Yeah, you're right. You're right. You that's what we're looking for. I got like close that. to perfection. That's pretty good, though, right, Katie? Yeah. Well, well, you went first perfect match round of the two season. I, I feel like I'm going to be perfect. Gonna... perfect. So I'll give you okay. that. Round two, you went perfect, but you listened to me. Thank you. Thank you. I listened to you, and I took the category that you said I should take. Yeah. Um, I, you didn't you know, fuck up. It's, I feel good. bad for Bridget because I got the one category that I think is, like, maybe my best category ever, Marvel. Um, so that definitely, like, you know, it made it kind of hard to, to come back from. I mean, uh yeah, I, I, this is fun though. Like, it was good. I've, I've never met Bridget before, so this was fun to meet her and, and having my, my old manager for three years coming back this season and, you know, just getting me through this. So it was great. So, yeah. yeah. Can you fun. continue not to fuck up and I will continue to be your manager? I will say, Cody, should we, you know, tell everyone the, uh, the, the team that I could be, uh, you know? Yes. You know? So yeah. you know, I know you, Nick knows. Bring, I think before you do, before you do that, Ooh. let me see if you're allowed to do that. Yeah, <laughs> that's a good idea. Um, <laughs> maybe hold off. What? Okay. How about we do this, Jake? When your new what team a tease. Premieres, when your new team premieres, we'll give you like a Jake and question mark, and then we'll reveal <laughs> the player there. Sound good? I like that. Yes. So I am teaming up with question mark until you find out who it is. So I question would like to mark point out I... question mark has had a great career, been in two number one contenders matches already. There you go. Great. So, great. Good times. Uh, Jake, we look forward to seeing you. Great job today. I'm just going to nod along to the, the bit that's been happening. Yeah. <laughs> Uh, co oh. we, I feel like we should call someone for, for Jake. I, I, I feel like this bit is slowly just turned into a hostage situation that I don't know no. how to help. He's fine. Coho, final okay. thoughts on the match. Put a nice bow on it while I start. I, I thought this was really entertaining. Maybe the score doesn't necessarily reflect a, a very close game, but I think that Bridget made it very close and competitive in round two with that comeback. It just so happened Jake got his strength, and not much you can do about that when the first category that comes up is something that neither of them felt particularly comfortable with. Ends the match a little early. Potentially one could even really technically call it a TKO if that was a thing that existed. But at the end of the day, I think it was entertaining, and uh, and we, we are hydrated. So Bridget did her job. Couldn't agree more. Uh, well, for everyone watching, thank you for watching. Uh, watch more. If you like this, there's there's like a lot more, like three years worth. Uh, if we're being very honest, like go check out, go check out three. Stuff. You kidding me? This is this is season five. Four, seven, we have five years. Well, there's a lot of them. Go go watch, and there's gonna be more. Oh my gosh! Five years? So many. If you liked this, congratulate you. You just hit gold mine. Uh, check out all the other matches. We'll see you next time. Another exciting episode of Phantom. We are so glad you came. Bye bye. Bye-bye. Bye-bye. Bye-bye now. Bye. Bye-bye. Remember, please discard all candy wrappers and popcorn containers in the nearest trash receptacle. Thank you. Okay, bye-bye now. Bye-bye. Bye. <laughs> okay. Are they all gone? Uh, is, is, there, is everybody gone? <laughs> huh? Good.